Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD3870 video card. What's included with the HIS HD3870 video card is a quick installation guide, software, drivers, two Half-Life 2 games, Lost Coast and Deathmatch, case badge, DVI to VGA dongle, DVI to HDMI dongle, a component video adapter, a composite video adapter, as well as a crossfire bridge. The new line of Radeon HD3800 series video cards are currently available in two different models, the 3870 and the 3850. These are both next generation products, but the 3870 has faster memory and core speeds and comes with 512 megabytes of GDDR4 memory as opposed to the 256 megabytes of GDDR3 memory on the 3850 model. The HIS HD the 3870 video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the last generation which has a PCI interface of 1. This video card is based on the RV670 XT core which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 666 million transistors. The cooler on this card is quite massive and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heat sink which is just inside, then ports all the warm air out the back of the case. It's an excellent design that works extremely well and is used on most HIS video card products. This fan is also temperature controlled which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based upon the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best best cooling possible. The only downside to this cooler is it occupies two expansion slots. Now let's have a closer look at this large heatsink. It's all copper with many fins and comes in direct contact with the GPU and memory. This is one fantastic cooler which will have no problem keeping the video card cool under default speeds in almost any environment. However, if you are overclocking, I would recommend additional case cooling just to be safe. This card has two DVI connections and a video out connection. It also requires a six pin power cable connection and surprisingly this video card doesn't consume a lot of power, only 105 watts at maximum load. The core speed on this product is 775 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR4 256 bit memory is 2.25 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 320 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 16 texture units, 16 raster operators, the fill rate is approximately 12,400 million pixels per second and the memory bandwidth is 72 gigabytes per second. This video card has many new technologies, too many to go over in detail in this video but let me cover the main ones. It has a 256-bit memory interface, custom filter anti-aliasing, unified superscalar shader architecture, tessellation, high-definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience.
Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small Crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier. This video card performs really well and has three key technologies that are different from the previous generation of video cards and they are the PCI Express version 2 DirectX 10.1 and the four video card crossfire configuration which you can't have of course you can't have four video cards in just any motherboard you've got to have a compatible motherboard in order to do that the other thing that really impresses me about this video card is that all this technology and great performance comes at a very affordable cost overall this is a kick-ass product again my name is Rodney Reynolds this has been another video review be sure to check back very soon I will have a brand new one for you then also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there you can go to the forums and register and remember registration is completely free also keep in mind you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums and as a final note if you love watching my video reviews please remember to help support 3dgameman.com if you wish to support please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. Coast and Deathmatch, a case match, a case match? What is a case match? Memory. As video card coolers go, this is very fan. This is very fantastic. You know, you know what I'm saying. It is great. Yeah, super duper. Yeah. This case, this case, this is not a case. This is a card, a video card haha <laughs> gddr4 256 bit video 16 texture units 16 wrapper wrapper operators <laughs> But from the previous generation of video cards is really three uh, is really 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 is yes, really really DirectX 10 support DirectX 10.1 this card does support it supports baby yes uh, 